We have a wonderful guest on the show today, Noah St. John. I actually have his book, so I'm honoured to be interviewing him today, all about affirmations, which are very much used now for mindset and for the manifestation community. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. And also mental health. So many people suffer with mental health. I myself, I've had to work with a neuroscientist on my own mind because I went into a really big state of fear, uh, fear where fear took over my mind. So I had to work with a neuroscientist to get my mindset out of being in a state of fear. So I'm really looking forward to a conversation with Noah St. John. I know it's going to be of great, great value. We are streaming live on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube. We're also on the E360 TV network. We're also on Android, Fire, Roku, and many, many other more platforms. We're also on USA Radio Global Television and Radio Network. We're also on mspnewsglobal.com and we're also on Business Innovators Radio Network. So let's bring in our incredible guest, Dr. Noah St. John. Dr. Noah, welcome to the show. Thanks, Mark. Great to be here today. Like I mentioned, I read your book, I think it was a couple of years ago now, and it's very, very transformational and I absolutely love it. So it's an honour to have you as my guest today. So, Dr. Noah, what inspired you to write a book about building a seven-figure expert business? Well, this is something that I've been doing for many years now. I started my company, SuccessClinic.com, in uh, 1997, 27 years ago now, in a 300-square-foot basement apartment with $800 to my name and a book on HTML. So I had nothing. I had no money, no marketing, no sales, no business experience of any kind. Um, you know, there was no Facebook, YouTube, no social media. Um, you know, the only funnels we had back then were funnel cake. So, you know, it was really like trying to build a house with a rock and some sticks. You know, it was like, uh, you know, dinosaurs roamed the earth a long time ago. But I really just had this this mission, this vision, really, and a dream to help people all around the world and to make an impact, as Steve Jobs put it, to put a dent in the universe. And the reason for that is because I had discovered uh, these different things in the field of personal and business development. As you mentioned, one of my discoveries is my affirmations method, uh, which people can learn about at affirmations.com and learn more about that. Uh, but I realized that, you know, I've been coaching people for many, many years on how to help their mindset and help their habits. But I had never written a book on actually how to make money, you know, as an expert. And I realized, you know, after 25 books written, I realized it was really time to bring out a book about how to make money and how to have a really big impact influence as well as uh, a nice big income. So really, that was the genesis and the reason uh, for this book. I love that, Dr. Noah. And I think mindset has a big part to play in the amount of money that you make as well. Would you agree with that? I do agree. But what's funny is that I teach mindset uh, a little bit differently because a lot of people say, you know, well, you're a mindset coach. So I'm like, well, not really, because mindset is like one slice of the pizza, um, but it's only about 15 percent of what I actually do. Uh, a lot of people think that all you need is mindset, but that's not true, because if you think about it, there's lots of people out there who spend a lot of time, money and effort on all these different mindset or, you know, uh, thinking positive courses or things like that but they're really still not making the money that they really should be making. And I call those highly evolved broke people. <laughs> and that's not what you want to be, right? You don't want to be highly evolved and broke. You want to be highly evolved and abundant, you know, have that really wealthy manifestation uh, that, I mean, that's one of the reasons why we do this, right? I mean, look, I grew up poor in a rich neighborhood, so I know what it's like to be in poverty among a whole bunch of people who have a lot of money. That's where I grew up in Kennebunkport, Maine. So the point is that uh, that wasn't OK with me. I really hated being poor. So that really was one of the things that drove me, uh, you know, throughout this whole process that I've been doing for over 27 years now. And, uh, you know, it started long, long before that when I started you know, reading books before I ever became an author. But really, so again, mindset's important, but there's really a lot more to it. I agree. I think the mindset is important. And I think when you're in the right mindset, it's about taking the aligned action along with it or inspired action to get the results as well. So your, how is the book different from other books that cover similar topics? 
there are a lot of you know online marketing books, digital marketing books. There, you know, I mean, there's tons of them out there. Uh, lots of you know gurus out there. A lot of fake gurus out there. People say, hey, you know, look at my Lamborghini, or look at my jet, look at my helicopter, and all that stuff, and that's great. The problem is that when you have those the hustle and grind guys, you know, the, the hustle bros, as I call them, what we find is that their main or only success story is themselves. In other words. You have a guy who's really great at self-promotion, a guy who's great at marketing himself. And the problem is, has he helped anyone else make any money? You know what I'm saying? And so when I look at guys like that, I'm not saying they're wrong or something. I'm saying that that's great that they've made money. But do you have a system that can help anyone else make money? And the answer usually is not so much, right? And so we've all, I'm sure, spent a lot of money on courses that ended up disappointing us because the guy who was promoting it is a great self-promoter. But once you get down to it, he's a lousy teacher. And I have I spent over half a million dollars only to find out that most of these gurus can't teach their way out of a paper bag. So really what I come from is uh, is a teaching background. And that's why you know I really love helping people get what they want, really see their dreams manifest so much faster and get what I like to call that hockey stick growth, right? Hockey stick meaning you know, you're going along like this and you're doing okay. But, you know, once you put this system in place, what I call my seven figure expert formula, that's when we start to see that hockey stick growth, you know, doubling, tripling, 800 percent and more growth in a very, very short amount of time. Yes. And I know I speak with a lot of successful people and it's all about how you're serving others. It's not all about yourself. It's about who are you actually serving and helping as well. And I love helping people. I mean, I've got a great network of people, of clients that I support with PR. And for me, I think at the very beginning of my journey, I was very much focused on promoting myself and wanting to be successful. But I think as your journey progresses, I started thinking, wow, I love helping other people and making them shine through media and PR. So for me, I love helping others. And I think it's much more um, satisfactory when you do that. So you're famous for helping your clients make more in 12 weeks than they have made in the previous 12 months. How do you do that? We really focus on two things that really cause that hockey stick growth that I was talking about a moment ago. And it really comes down to these two things, and that is inner game and outer game. Now, when you look at that, it's like these two circles that connect in the middle. All right. So inner game is everything that happens between your ears that you can't see directly, but it affects everything that you do. For example, uh, you know, you mentioned that I'm a coach. I'm an author. I'm also a keynote speaker. So I get to do keynote presentations you know, around the country and around the world for companies, teams, organizations of all different sizes. And one of the things I like to say to my audience members as a keynote speaker is, what is one area of your life where your beliefs don't affect you? And of course, people go like this. They go, well, uh, mm, uh, and I go, exactly. There's no place your beliefs don't affect you, right? Your beliefs affect everything, your health, your wealth, your business, your finances, your career. There's no place your beliefs don't affect you. But what's interesting is you can't see a belief. You can only see the effects of a belief, right? And meanwhile, you can be doing really well in one area of your life, but maybe you're stuck or struggling in another. For example, Maybe your health is doing really well, but, you know, your business isn't where you want it to be or vice versa. Maybe you're making a lot of money, but, you know, your health is suffering or your relationships are suffering. So you see what I mean? It's not cookie cutter, one size fits all. It's very customized, personalized approach that we take at successclinic.com. So that's your inner game. And then you also have your outer game, right? So you also have to do all the systems and strategies, the offers, funnels, traffic, all the things that those marketing gurus teach. But what's interesting is that if you don't do both, if you don't do your inner game and your outer game, you're really going to be hitting that income ceiling. I'll give you a quick example of that. I was speaking at a seminar in Los Angeles and for about a thousand entrepreneurs, these are you know seven and eight figure entrepreneurs, very successful people. I had just finished speaking and I was walking off the stage. A man came up to me and he said, Noah, you are the coach that I've been looking for. I want to hire you as my coach. And now I didn't know this man from Adam. Ironically, his name was Adam. <laughs> True story. And so I said, all right, what's going on? He said, well, Noah, you know, everything you just talked about, you know, hitting that income ceiling and holding yourself back from success and everything you just said. He said that I totally related to everything you said. In fact, he said, I'm making seven figures in my business, but we've been stuck at the same level for the last four years. And he said, I've spent all this money. I hired all these marketing gurus, but we just can't break through that income ceiling. And so as soon as I heard you speak, he said, I knew you're the coach that I've been looking for. So he decided to hire me on the spot. He literally decided on the spot that to hire me as a coach. 
And that's why I love working with high achievers, right? Because they make decisions quickly and firmly. They don't dilly dally, don't mess around. They just do it. Let's go. Anyway, so I coached him for 18 months. And in that 18 months, we took his company that had been stuck at the same level, at the same seven figure level for the previous four years to over 20 million in sales, 600% increase. You want to talk about hockey sticks? 600%. Now, what's interesting about that story is 90% of the work that we did was on his inner game. Right. Remember, he'd spent all that money and all that time going to all these seminars and marketing gurus. And that's fine. And that had gotten him to here, but he couldn't break through. It wasn't until I showed him actually how to master his inner game that we got that hockey stick growth. So for the uh, for the people listening, for the folks listening, think about that in your life. Hmm. And the question to ask yourself is, gee, do I need help with my inner game? Do I need help with my outer game? For most people, it's a little bit of both. And I love what you mentioned about uh, your beliefs as well. They're so important and how you can only notice the effects of them. But what I have noticed as well, Noah, when you're raising in consciousness and building up better beliefs, you can become very aware of all of your limiting beliefs as well. Um, because I know I'm so conscious and, and gone to higher levels of consciousness it's like I can I can observe my thoughts and I'm like, well, that's the limiting belief. And I know that's not true. And it, it's a, it, sometimes it's a blessing. Sometimes it's a curse because I can be aware of everything in my mind. But I think it is a blessing because it gives you chance to actually change things and, and think, does this actually serve me? Is this true? Uh, no, <laughs> that's irrelevant. It's not not my story. Um, and what I like about your affirmations, just to touch on that a little bit, a lot of people use affirmations, which is I am healthy, I am wealthy, I am successful. But what I like about affirmations, you're asking the brain a question. So why am I so healthy? Why am I so wealthy? And the brain, because you're asking it a question, it searches for the answer, doesn't it, Noah? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And that's exactly how uh, I uh, discovered my affirmations method. And again, remember that's spelled A-F-F-O-R-M-A-T-I-O-N-S. For the folks listening, it's A-F-F-O-R-M-A-T-I-O-N-S. So you can go to affirmations.com. There it is on the screen, affirmations.com. Learn more about my affirmations method. But yes, that is exactly how I discovered it 27 years ago. In uh, what I call the shower that changed everything, <laughs> it was a shower that I was. Yes, you know, I remember. Yeah, there it is. There it is, right in there. So I yeah. would say yes. Get get a copy of this. It's a really good book. It's not hard to read at all <laughs> either. It's really simple to read, but it gives you action steps of what you can do to really start changing your mindset straight away. So I do highly recommend that. Thank you. In your books and coaching programs, you talk about unconscious habits of highly successful people. What do you mean by that, Dr. Noah? What I realized many years ago is that highly successful people are doing things unconsciously that they don't even know they're doing, number one, and therefore, number two, they can never teach you. This is one of the reasons why so many people have gone to so many seminars, you know, with all the gurus, and yet they keep, keep hitting that income ceiling. Why? Because the, the gurus are talking about habits that are conscious. So it's exactly like the iceberg principle. Only about 5% of our habits, thoughts, and behaviors every day are uh, conscious, really, like, uh, like the iceberg, right? Above the level of consciousness or above the surface of the water, the vast 95% are unconscious or subconscious. And that means we're not aware of it. We don't know, and therefore we don't have a choice. And as I always say to my coaching clients or my audience members, it, isn't, it wasn't the 5% of the iceberg that they could see that sunk the Titanic. It was the 95% that they didn't see that sunk the Titanic. And that's what's sinking most of us, too. So the point is that high, what I discovered is that highly successful people are doing these, as I call them, the power habits of unconsciously successful people that they don't know they're doing and therefore can never teach you. And so that's one of the reasons why, uh, like Adam, that story I just mentioned to you, you know, he'd spent all that time and money going to all these things. He was doing OK. But man, once I taught him these power habits, he went through the roof. And we have so many stories of that. If you go to our website, you just go to coachingwithnoah.com and you can see that. But that's really what it comes down to. It's these unconscious habits that these highly successful people are doing, but they don't even know they're doing it. And therefore, they can never tell. Yes, the power of the subconscious mind, uh, Dr. Noah. You also say that head trash is the number one reason so many people feel stuck. What is head trash? 
and how does it keep people stru stuck? <laughs> For the folks watching and listening to this program, think about your goals right now. Think about the three things that you want to achieve in the next 12 months. So people say, well, no, you know, I want to make more money. I want to grow my business. I want to start a business. I want to write a book like you've done. I want to have an online course. I want to lose weight. I want to, you know, find love, whatever it might be. So think about your goals. And everybody talks about that, right? Everybody says, oh, you know, set your goals. You've heard this many times. Yes, that's true. But here's what people don't talk about. It's what happens after you set your goals that's actually important. And here's what I mean. So let's say, hey, Noah, I want to add $10,000 a month to my business. Great. That's your goal. But here's what happens. For most people, the very next thought is, eh, I probably can't do it. Oh, I don't have the time. I don't have the money. I can't afford it. I don't know where to start. My spouse won't let me. Oh, I'm too busy. You know, oh, I'm, there's too much else to do. I got too much to do and too little time. You see what happens? We give ourselves all these excuses, all these reasons why we can't do it. That's what I call your head trash. And let's face it, I've written 25 books on this one subject, how to take out your head trash. Why? Because it's the one problem that's causing all your other problems. Everybody's up here focused on symptoms, right? Oh, don't procrastinate. Oh, think positive. Oh, believe in yourself. Well, that's all great, but that's all up here. That's a symptom. What we have to really understand is that your head trash is the reason that you're stuck and that it is holding you back from reaching from going from where you are to where you really want to be so we've got to get to the root level that's one of the reasons that i'm able to help my clients make more in just 12 weeks than they did in the previous 12 months and i have so many examples of that but that's the point is when you go to the website you can see we can watch the videos you can see the stories but that's the point is it's a system that works it's not just about what you know it's not about me like you know oh look how great i am no it's about the system and that means anybody can do it i love that dr no and i think as well when you set a goal or you have a desire and you go from the end because i know a lot of successful people i always go to the end of what i want to achieve also it's when the 3d reflection is showing you the total opposite of what so you want to make a million pounds and then you have loads of bills come in you have to stand firm in your end don't you when the 3d is showing you the opposite it is. I mean, look, we're all going to run into challenges. We're all going to run into, you know, obstacles and roadblocks and things like that. I mean, look, I decided to take my own life at the age of 25. I decided to commit suicide when I was 25 years old because I've been reading all these books and they all said the same thing. And I was working really hard and I wasn't seeing any results. So I was very frustrated. I was broke. I was miserable. And, you know, I decided that I didn't really see any way out. Now, at the very last moment, my life was spared. But I still didn't know why I was here on the earth. So it took another five years for me to discover affirmations and power habits and all the things that I've been teaching now for the last 27 years. So I understand and I know what it's like to be there and not see any way out. And there's millions of people that are feeling that. But even if you're not at, at that level, maybe you're just like, gosh, you don't know, I've been I've been working really hard for many, many years. And yes, I'm doing OK, but man, I know I could do so much better. Well, that's what really this is all about. It's about those subconscious reasons that I was just talking about. And frankly, the subconscious habits that they're never going to tell you. You could interview them all day long and they'll say things like, well, you know, if you don't believe in yourself, just believe in yourself. If you're procrastinating, stop procrastinating. It's like it's basically like saying, well, if you want to lose weight, make sure you have lost already uh, already lost the weight. <laughs> Uh, that doesn't help anything. So the point is we've got to get underneath to the real cause. And that's what causes this hockey stick growth. I hear you. Now, I know you're offering people to grab a copy of your book for free. Uh, can you just share what they will get from this book? And and you can share the, the email address as well. Sorry, the website address. Absolutely. Sure. Uh, so here's the book. It's right here. It's called The Seven Figure Expert. And it's your ultimate guide to a life of more impact, influence, and financial freedom. All you have to do is go to sevenfigureexpertbook.com. Very easy to remember, sevenfigureexpertbook.com. Now, uh, we've covered, I've covered the cost of the book because you're watching this program, and um, you just have to cover shipping. So that's it, sevenfigureexpertbook.com. And I'm going to give you my, uh, my five-step, five-phase, uh, seven-figure expert formula that has actually help my clients add multiple six and seven and even eight figures, over $3 billion collectively over the past 25 plus years. So it's a very, very powerful book. It's a simple read and it's a great, great start. So whether you want to add six, seven, or yes, even eight figures to your business, sevenfigureexpertbook.com. I would encourage everyone grab a copy of the, the Seven Figure Expert book at sevenfigureexpertbook.com.
facebook.com also you do coaching programs who's ideal to get in touch with you about be, uh, your coaching programs and also share the website for that as well dr noah Yes, yeah, so if you go to breakthroughwithnoah.com, or easy to remember, I'm known as the Breakthrough Coach, right? Breakthroughwithnoah.com, and you can watch a video training there, which gives you a really great overview of what makes me different and some of the results that I've gotten for my clients, like adding six and seven and eight figures and so on. Uh, so that's at breakthroughwithnoah.com. So this is really for coaches, uh, you know, course creators, consultants, agency owners, entrepreneurs, experts who really are already at 10K a month but really want to scale up their business, really, you know, to get that multiple six or seven figure level. That's that's really my sweet spot there. So as long as you're making, you know, right around 10K a month, this is perfect for you, especially if you want to scale up faster and easier while actually working less. So really, it's about making more and winning your life back. I would encourage everyone go to breakthroughwithnoah.com, breakthroughwithnoah.com, and you can get more information there about his coaching programs. Dr. Noah, I thoroughly enjoyed having a conversation with you today. Is there anything we did not cover that you would like to share? Well, I'm happy to come back anytime. You're a great interviewer, and this was a heck of a lot of fun.